I've never really believed in true evil. At least not until that night in the cabin. The night we found the book. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. The Book of the Dead. Inked in blood and bound in human flesh, the book holds the power to resurrect demons and summon the powers of darkness. Professor Raymond Noby brought the Necronomicon to this quiet place years ago to study the book, to unlock its secrets. He was never seen again. When we read it, we awoke something in the woods. A dark, infectious evil as old as time. It got into my hand and it went bad, so I cut it off. It got to the others, too, twisting them, changing them. They became something less than human. That's when they came for me. You're toast, ugly.
Six months and not a single visit. Oh yeah, my appeal must be coming along swell. Hey, you know what? Give me the bad news and blow. TV time starts in five. Your whole story, the Necronomicon, your friends being possessed by evil, you being forced to butcher them. You were telling the truth. I thought you were crazy. Professor Noby's diary? But how did you... I, uh, bribed a janitor to grab your files from Dr. Reinhardt's office this morning. Dr. Reinhardt's office? Why would my shrink have Noby's diary? That doesn't make any sense. Noby's diary? It was in the cabin, right beside the Necronomicon. I have to get to the authorities before Reinhardt realizes this book is missing. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, thanks for believing in me. You know, I... Just to... You know, I bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for thigh-high stockings and a bra that pushed up your yams. Yams? Achtung, patient! Yesterday's shop had I gotta get out of here. ...but a jolting success. Thank you to all who participated. Oh, remember... Stop or you're going down! You're going down hard! Let's see if these freaks are still allergic to lead. That'll work.